Hello, I'm Sophie D'Souza. Welcome to my channel, Sophie Stained Glass. If you're joining me for the first time, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you for your support. I'm here today in West London, outside this rather attractive house. This nice feature gate. Lovely, lovely arch here. And if we just look through the arch, we can see the telltale signs of a stained glass artist's home. So we're going to go in now and meet Val, and she's going to show us her studio. So I'm here today with Val Cloak, who is a stained glass artist, um, and also just an all-round great artist, because I've been looking at all the pieces around her home. And she's including this piece here, which... I love that. Actually reminds me of Nigel slightly. Um, and she's going to uh, show us her studio, which is in her back bedroom. But first, I thought it might be quite interesting to find out how you got into stained glass. I used to go to a little um, uh, painting group down in North North Croft Road yeah, yeah. in the community centre, and um, uh, and our friend Maura used to um, invent things for us to do and she worked in a, a, a special school up in up in Northold and uh, she'd been doing this uh, she'd been doing some glass work with the children I mean uh -huh. they wow. were such lucky children yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and uh, so she brought you know some things along so we could have a go at cutting the glass and that sort of thing and um, yeah that all went nicely and I thought I like this I really like this I think I'll, um, I think I'll do some more mm. so I uh, so that's when I signed up for City Lit okay who have now rebuilt that that building that we were in and managed to forget to put a glass studio in, yeah. a new building. Yep, yep, they, uh, Central St Martin stopped in glass as well. I think it's quite resource heavy and there's a lot of health and safety issues. Yes. Which makes it quite unattractive to... For his, them. Yeah. But not really, for us. No, <laughs> no, clearly. <laughs> yeah. What a shame. Yes, yes. Anyway, so I, I went to the city bit and uh, I was you know th that lying down lady mm. was the first thing that I did there and it was you know I thought you know I've tried all these different things I've done sandblasting and painting and etching and you know it it was I felt like a kid in a in a sandpit really yeah, I yeah, was yeah, having yeah. such a lovely time and uh you know, considering that, that everybody else had been doing glass for quite a lot. Oh, had they? Yes. Okay. Which is why they weren't thrown when she said, no, I'd like you to turn it into a piece of stick glass. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, she, uh, she, she, was, she was a lovely teacher. And... Uh, so I thought, and this, there used to be a double bed in here. Mm. Well, I had my friend Frank round. Yeah. Um, who, who was doing some building work here. Could you put a workbench in? Oh, there was a little discussion about that. And he put, he put this along here. And at this point, how long had you been doing stained glass for? Not very long. But it made it all much more possible. Yeah. You know, because it wasn't cluttered like it is at the moment. It was... It reminds me it of was my nice, workshop. It was nice and tidy. And, uh, uh, and, and, you know, it was just, it was just terrific. And I really, I got a lot done then. And, uh, and then I, later on, I got this bit done up the side here. Okay. It's your little kiln. My tiny kiln. Little baby. Yeah. 
So this is your making station over here. Yeah. With your jig built in. So you've got your glass racks over here. Yeah. Where did you get your glass? From lead and light. Mostly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And from, was it called Pearson's? Yeah, it Pearson's in Greenford. Greenford was very convenient. How dare they it was move convenient. to Liverpool? It was convenient. May I? Yes. Very pretty colours. I don't know what he's done, what all this it's, wire it's is. It's almost a little bit Macintoshy, isn't it? Yes. Well, clearly to be hung somewhere. But, but uh, something's gone wrong with the hanging. And they've been nosy now, is that all right? Very <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, and you've used some sort of resiny stuff here, right? Oh, the applique, the applique method. Yes. Not very, not very well executed. But applique but just trying is quite it. tricky. I'd say it's quite tricky. Would you? Yeah, I'd say lead's, lead's a better bet, basically. Yes. Well, I'm fond of lead. Yeah. It it frames colours beautifully, doesn't it? And I've got a little oh, your, your, piece of guttering. Pipe. Yeah, that works so well, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So did you come up with that idea or have you seen it in other workshops? No, I've never seen it. Oh, there you go. Clever Do other, other people do? Yeah, they do. They do. Oh, there you are. It's one of those things that human beings invent. Yeah, invent. necessity is the mother of invention. Like it? the fleur de lis. That was, that was a, an, an invention? Well, someone must have invented it at some point, but it's been invented... In more than one place. Oh, has it? Yes. Okay, I associate it with Our Lady in France. Because <laughs> it's her symbol. And Is it? It's a symbol of purity. Uh, it's also a symbol for the scout movement, isn't it? I suppose it is. Less pure. Less pure, probably, than Our yes. Lady, yeah. Yes. I think Joan of Arc has it as well. But mm. she has flames and swords too. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, so this is quite useful. And you've done a bit of done a bit of fusing. Yes. Do you incorporate these fused pieces into your? Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think oh, you've got quite a lot over here, haven't you? That's nice. That is nice. But for every nice one, this one. Well, it's all part of the process. Yes, May I? Yes, please do. Oh, very nice. I have to say, I came across Val's work before meeting Val um, because uh, there's a, like an open art trail around uh, Ealing, which is where we both live, called Beat. Called Beat. And I saw this very charming red rhinoceros made of stained glass, and I'm like, wow, why have I never made a red rhinoceros? That's so cool. And then a mutual friend introduced us, and I said, I saw a red rhinoceros made of glass, and she said, that was me. It was me. And I immediately fell at her feet. That's lovely. That's really lovely. And it works so well in glass because it's like, um, you know, a tank, isn't it? <laughs> I really like that. And they this, got... this was something that I did. Oh, wow, I like that. So you did casting? I did that at uh, Brett Manley, this woman up in Perivale. And uh, I did, th I think it was a three day thing there. Did you? I don't know her, I haven't got come across her. So she's a specialist in casting? She does quite a lot of it, yes. Oh, that's nice, I like bubbles. Yeah. Very nice. Well, thank you. I think that's supposed to be that way. Yeah, I want it? it to be that way as well. These are lovely. And uh, we made a few things up there, but... Uh, is that you? Of course, it's shouting at my cat to come down. <laughs> and a couple of dogs. Yeah. Attractive dogs there. What's this? That's the the houses. Oh yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Well, almost. 
work. Yeah, well, we're allowed to be critical about our own work, but I think that's lovely. I like I like the paintwork here. Yes. That's very nice. I like that. It's sort of half rubbed off, isn't it? And I like your heavy lead. I'm a heavy leader. And Do you I, mean quite thick? Yes. Chunky. I like it because it, it makes the colours really stand out and they they become kind of jewel-like. And I love your strong colour. I use strong colour. Um, and I love that. That's so nice. That must be my cat. It must be. When I used to have a cat. He's moved out. He just sojourns now. Mm -hmm. I like that. There's something about a boat at sea that sort of mm. carries you off. So did you make these quite recently? That's nice. I like the, um, the pillars. I think they're all in the last couple of years. They're quite uh, prolific. You like your architectural settings, don't you? I do. <laughs> this is better worn. <laughs> That's oh. a wing. Isn't that nice? Well, nearly. Again, wasn't... I think that's the thing, sometimes you'll do it and you'll get one bit of the process right and then you go, next time I do it differently or I do it like that and you perfect yes. it, don't you? I made a dragon's head. Oh. Uh, which was oh yeah, a fuse like this. Yeah. And uh, I had that on display in Beat and it was, it was so gorgeous. Yeah. And I'd, what I'd done for the skin was I'd taken lots of kind of yellowish glass and bashed it. Yeah. To, so I'd got lots and lots of little bits and pieces yeah. of glass and it was sticking up so it gave a, a sort of beautiful, you know. Yeah, undulation. Mm. Mm. Have you got that piece anymore? No. I, I only had it for about five minutes because my... My doctor from St Mary's came to see what, what I was doing and uh, I saw as he came in the door downstairs, as he came in the door, I saw his eyes light on this. I thought, he's going to buy that, isn't he? And he did. Happy and sad at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it, it couldn't have gone to anyone better, really. He's a lovely man. This is nice over here. The way it's framed is nice with the with the this, with the mirror this is behind Brett it. The, I've seen things um, done with mirror behind, and it's a, it's really effective. It's a really good thing, isn't it? Because displaying know. stained glass is actually quite difficult. Quite difficult. Yeah. yeah. I usually use um, I've got a couple of light boxes. Yeah. Um, Have you? Mm. Thank you. My pleasure. So we got some shelves shelves up here. Yeah. With your bits and bobs in. Yeah. Cupboards, we got... This is such a useful room. It really is. And I, the, why I'm so pleased that you let me come here today to talk to you is because this is what people start with. They don't start with a big purpose-built studio. They don't start by going and hiring um, a space. Um, they adapt a space at home. Yes. And this... Often a shed, probably. A shed, so. yeah. And this shows you, you know, will show the folks at home what you know, they can do. Yeah, yeah, and actually it's not a huge space, but it's a good space and it's plenty big enough for what you need. And you could you could have had a bigger kiln in here too if you'd wanted. I could have done yeah. probably, couldn't I? Glass over here. Oh yes, yeah. Because we get given stained glass, don't we? And yes. stained glass artists, people say, I've got some old stained glass and what do you do with it? That's the thing. Well, you don't you want can, it thrown away, but what no, do you do? You can use bits of it. Yeah, probably, can't I you? think that's probably the only thing I've and ever that's done. That's what I had in mind when this man rang up and he simply couldn't live with it. So he took out an original feature. Yeah. Well, I suppose it was an original feature. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't bear thinking about, does it? How wasteful people can be.
and and it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is, and, and you get a you get an idea of the proportions of the house when you look at how big those roundels are. <laughs> it's like when I put roundels into stained glass, they're about they're, they're either sixty or eighty mil. Yeah, <laughs> they're like saucers. <laughs> Have your dinner off them. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe you could now show us some of the pieces of glass you've got around the house and tell us a little bit about those. <laughs> Haven't I already? That's, that's the segue to what I'm going yeah. to cut in. <laughs> yeah, I figured that. Took me a while though. <laughs> I could see that. <laughs> okay, so this is a very nice piece. Tell us about this. That was one of the very first that I did. That I did a, a week in the city lit. Oh yeah. And uh, and it was called something to do with life drawing. And I thought, uh, you know, I thought, well, I can't be able to cope with that. And uh, and we were, you know, the class was assembled in there. And yeah. We all had bits of paper and charcoal, and we had to draw the. The technician was being the the model. Okay. And uh, very good she was too. So and, was, uh, was it with a, a view to turning it into a piece of stained glass? Well, I didn't know what it was for really. So I just drew and drew and I, and I like drawing yeah. and I'm quite good at it. Yeah. And so I felt quite confident with that. And she said, now I'd like you to... Um, uh, turn one of those pieces into a piece of stained glass oh, okay. and everybody just went oh all right and got on with it and I didn't know what she was talking about really <laughs> I, didn't know. I had no idea how you would set about turning that into a piece of stained glass had you done much glass before this no piece? had really. you painted on glass before no wow <laughs> turned out rather well didn't it <laughs> Uh, it was extraordinary. I, f I found the whole thing extraordinary because I didn't know what I was doing. And it's nice to be plunged in. I think a lot of stained glass classes start with something very naive, very simple, very formulaic. And it's nice. This is a proper piece of art, you know. And, and it's it's nice they drew that out of the people on the course rather than just say, you know, do a thing with them. She was very good. Was she? She was, yeah. Yeah. And... Uh, and and it, it gave us a chance to have a go at everything, you know. Yeah. So there was sand glass. Yeah. There was uh, uh, what do you call it? Where you use fusing, hydrofluoric acid etching. Etching. Uh, so which bit of that is etched as opposed to sandblasted? Hardly any of it, but uh, you you see that line that comes across, yeah. and there's a little bit. Of the that yeah. was etched there. Oh, okay. Is that flashed glass at the top? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. I'm not a person to ask. Okay. Very nice. And, um, yes, it was all, you know, I found it quite difficult because I didn't know what I was doing. And I'm not very good when I don't know what I'm doing. Well, none of us are, are we? But um, you're happy with it now, though, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. Okay. This piece, I particularly love the colours of and the textures. This and is this is one of my very very favourites, and it's out there, the garden, out here, yeah. the garden. Yeah. And. Um, I don't know why I took it into my head and thought I could do it, but I... Well, you clearly could, so... Well, I don't know that I could. <laughs> I had some horrible old glass in there, but you know, the sort of things that people yeah. Yeah. put into yeah. front doors yes. when something else more precious has gone. Yeah. And uh, th that came quite a bit later, the top. Um, but this, I, I was just, I, I was um, quite taken with the Jabberwocky mm. 
So I thought, I know, I'll do a bit of Jabberwocky on the on the front door. And uh, so we've got a job job bird on that side, and on this side is the the uh, frimious bandersnatch. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> and 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 uh, all was well until I had a bit of a collapse a couple of years ago with COVID. Okay. And they said we'll we'll get an ambulance down there straight away. So the ambulance, the, the they actually called the police, who came first. Yeah. And the police kicked their way in through the door and took that panel of glass with, with them. That's so sad. <laughs> it was a bit upset. Yeah. Apparently, I, I don't remember any of this, but apparently I was telling them off. <laughs> <laughs> Quite right too. <laughs> and um, uh, so when I got home, that was covered in wood and it was very dark here and oh, I didn't like it at all. No. So the first thing I could do as soon as I could stand was to was to replace the was, was any of it salvageable? Was no. It? No. Mm. Well, mm. having said that, I didn't. I just made it again. It was would probably be harder to try and incorporate Old and new. Yeah. 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 Very nice. What's a lovely jubjub bird? Isn't that a lovely jubjub bird? I like his legs. Mummy's my, my legs. Very normal about here, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very normal about yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm very pleased that I done the whole thing I, uh, and so I had to replace it. Yeah, really. it's hard to redo a thing isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it is, it is. So here we are. Lovely, thank you very much <laughs> for allowing us into your beautiful home, very artistic, yes to oh, bow. My pleasure, and, that was a um, curtsy. Yes, yeah, it was a curtsy, yes, sorry. Um, not accustomed. <laughs> anyway, so thank you. It's been really interesting to look at how you set up your studio. And I'm sure it's going to be very helpful to people at home who are thinking about adapting one of their spaces. So, yeah, thank yes. you.